Hi folks, you're watching the Skywatch Media News Channel for the week of November 12, 2018. When it comes to discussing the controversial topic regarding the existence of Planet X, also referred to as Nibiru, there is one question that no one can answer with any sense of confidence. What are the coordinates that pinpoint the exact location of Planet X? It's certainly a question that many Skywatchers want to know, but it's a question that cannot be truthfully answered for one very good reason. The legendary planet's location is unknown. Even the most sophisticated telescopes in existence are unable to locate it. There's been some subjective analysis using astronomical charts and telescopic observation of planetary bodies that are thought to exist that could possibly provide clues to its coordinates. But most have fallen by the wayside as either lacking credibility or otherwise providing inadequate and unreliable information. You see, Planet X is said to be a failed star, a brown dwarf consisting of dark matter that is lurking in a remote region of the solar system. If this is true, then it may very well explain why noted and amateur astronomers alike have yet to discover its location in our solar system. Even still, there is talk about the giant dwarf planet hiding somewhere behind the sun, occasionally rearing its ugly head for the world to see. One of the theories as to why we are still waiting for its arrival has to do with the gravitational pull of the sun as well as the magnetic influence of Jupiter. Together, these two extremely large bodies are pulling and pushing on Planet X as it attempts to escape their influence. In its journey to complete its elongated 3,600-year orbit across the solar system, during which time it approaches us from below the Earth and passes close enough to Earth to create havoc for our planet before making its final exit out of the solar system. In October of this year, the International Astronomical Union announced the discovery of a new dwarf planet, a celestial ball of ice 186 miles wide that they called Goblin. There was one very interesting observation that was revealed in this new discovery. The astronomers found that the dwarf planet was orbiting our sun in an elongated orbit. How ironic this is, since it sounds strikingly similar to the orbital and descriptive theory surrounding Planet X. According to observations by astronomers, the newly discovered planet does not orbit in close proximity to the Sun because of its location in the outer solar system beyond Pluto. But similar to the concept of Planet X, the object called Goblin moves very slowly. It takes years to confirm its orbit since it would be too faint to, to see during the thousands of years that it would take for it to orbit the sun. There is no reason to believe that Goblin is the elusive planet X. But there is reason to believe that something much larger than this newly discovered planet is lurking in the solar system and it is disturbing the orbits of bodies that exist in the outer banks. A very dense unseen planet beyond Neptune would have a formidable gravity field that would tug on smaller objects passing by, gathering them into a cluster of objects orbiting as one large army. These distinct objects would all be seen as having the same elongated orbit as a massive body similar to Planet X. Another theory that is being discussed in social media is that Nibiru is situated behind the Sun, which explains why it cannot be detected by scientists or by their powerful telescopes. The theory has been argued for some time, but these images taken in October using specialized equipment, seem to show that something threatening is located behind the sun. After these images were posted, there was the usual deluge of what this may be showing, but there was no clear explanation of what it actually represents. 
Judging from the recent behavior of NASA experts, it's becoming imperative to be fearful of any abnormal change happening in the sky because of the lack of explanations from top scientists and most notably because of the adamant and consistent dismissal of any objects that may be coming our way. If there is any ounce of truth surrounding its existence, it will be kept under wraps. It will be hidden in the clouds of chemtrails, and its investigation will be shut down until which time it becomes undeniably apparent. Then there is the constant prognostications from religious figures who preach across the Internet that Planet X represents the biblical sign of the apocalypse. It is the Death Star that will bring about the end of life on Earth. The problem with prophesying the end of time is that there is no time frame for when the world as we know it will cease to exist. And any interjection by mortal men to pretend when the time will come is nothing more than self-serving. It is fear-based propaganda. The end-time reasoning of certain individuals is based primarily on the belief that something major will come upon the earth and it will cause great devastation. The recent announcement that astronomers may have uncovered a rogue star would certainly play into that belief. In their view, such proclamations provide a security blanket to the space scientists as they move in subtle ways to disclose the existence of Planet X. The astronomers provide further hints that are posed as theories describing a wandering star that cruised past our Earth 70,000 years ago, thereby suggesting that a red dwarf planet was visible in the sky in the evening hours during the prehistoric era. The celestial encounter was compounded by the erratic and bizarre orbital movements of distant objects moving around the sun. So, in essence, it would be the perturbation of orbital bodies that are located in our solar system. Another of these theories suggests the presence of a red dwarf star located 20 light years away that could have passed Earth hundreds of centuries ago. So what exactly are scientists referring to here? It looks like their theories would fall into the category of soft disclosure. They describe something that is occurring in the dark reaches of our solar system using labels like Planet 9, Dwarf Planet, and the Goblin. For all the talk about whether a giant planet or a system of planets exists in our solar system or just beyond the solar system, we should continue to acknowledge that there is way too much to learn about the vastness of our universe and our comprehension of its infinity. What the world is being told is not necessarily the truth, and everything that we know or pretend to know should be considered with a grain of salt. The facts will in the end speak louder than the mere words of mortal men. Although the concept of a rogue system of planets has yet to unravel the mystery of what may be lurking in our solar system, there is evidence coming from our atmosphere that something unexplained and extremely unusual is happening. A bizarre purple glow is increasingly illuminating the sky, but the reason for the strange sky phenomena remains unclear. Across North America and throughout much of the world, the baffling sky phenomena continues. There has been a multitude of explanations for this sky anomaly, including aerosol pollution of the sky, the release of volcanic gas and ashes from numerous recent eruptions, and the scattering of blue light during sunset. But it is all speculation. 
and no one can say for sure what is happening. What I can say in my many years of personal observation is that the purple sky or purple rain phenomena is a fairly new and undetermined atmospheric anomaly. It is something that I have only recently begun to notice appearing in the sky right here in Louisiana. It's very easy to get caught up in the moments of turmoil and uncertainty, never knowing which way to turn or who to turn to. But if you take time to consider or reflect upon the chaotic events unfolding in our lifetime and what it may represent in the grand scheme of our existence and our time on earth, try to make an effort to catch yourself in a moment of quiet solitude. Cherish the serenity of each passing day, and above all things, keep looking to the sky. Thanks for watching.